More NBA players who got humiliated after trash-talking Steph Curry. Stephen Curry, the best shooter of all time, yes, you heard that right, the best shooter of all time, has been heavily criticized and trash-talked time after time by rival players, teams, and fans. And more often than not, he answers with lights-out performances. In our last video about the Golden Boy, we mentioned some names and how they were humiliated after trash-talking Curry. Today, we're back with another video in which we'll reveal a few more names that tested Curry's gangsta. And don't worry, we made sure to include Ja Morant in this one. Paul George NBA Twitter can be a nasty and ruthless place. Just ask Paul George, a seven-time All-Star and former All-NBA First Team member who belongs to the G League according to NBA Twitter. Of course, George frequently brings the hate on himself, like when he refers to himself as Playoff P, and then hits a three-pointer off the side of the backboard in a crucial situation. Of second shots, though. George, way off, hits the side of the backboard. <laughs> anyway, last year, on opening night for George's LA Clippers, George couldn't get out of his way yet again. He had a fantastic game, scoring 29 points on 12 of 23 shooting, while also grabbing 11 rebounds and dishing out 6 assists. Despite this, he found a method to make himself the punch of a joke. How, you ask? In the Warriors vs. Clippers game, Curry appeared to be fired up after leaving the locker room as he scored 25 points in the first quarter. Immediately after the game, a clip of Clippers Paul George trash-talking Stephen Curry went viral on social media. Considering that Stephen Curry rang a massacre against the Los Angeles-based team, fans point to PG-13's verbal banter as the reason for the Clippers' destruction in this particular clash. During the game, Paul George was mic'd up, and he was captured on tape having a friendly trash talk sesh with the Warrior star. Let me get one. I give you one, you give me one. I'm from the logo with it. <laughs> now why would you say that to Steph? PG appeared to be attempting to get inside Steph Curry's head, which predictably did not succeed during the Warriors vs Clippers game. Let's remind everyone of this clip during crunch time. It was the Golden State Warriors three-point king who ended up sinking a three from the logo. Green is in a torture chamber and outside it goes Curry. Well, sort of. With this clutch three, Steph virtually single-handedly thwarted the Clippers' desperate comeback attempt. The good news is that this three was not right in PG's face, which social media would have loved. But it's still difficult to see him being clowned after only one game of the NBA season he opted to poke the bear, and the Beast dropped a 45 spot in the Warriors' 115-113 victory. We're sure poor PG will never try to test Chef Curry anymore. Ja Moran The Memphis Grizzlies advanced to the Western Conference semifinals as the Carl Anthony Towns-led Minnesota Timberwolves were eliminated. They were going all-in against the Stephen Curry-led Golden State Warriors, making it one of the most intriguing playoff matchups. By halftime, Ja was already chirping at the Warriors. Check out this clip of him yelling at Kaminga and the Warriors. He can't guard me, he can't guard me. Honestly, Morant was not lying there. Kaminga really could not guard him. But Curry too spoke the truth at the end of game one, when he pulled off a defensive stop on Ja's game-winning layup. Clark to Morant, Morant on the drive, scoop layup, no good, it's over. Lock that shit up, boy, I lock that shit up. After the Warriors won Game 1, Morant told the Athletics' Fred Katz that Stephen Curry approached him and Grizzlies teammate Jaron Jackson Jr. and stated the series is gonna be a battle and that we're gonna have some fun. Ja had nothing to say after the Game 1 defeat, and Curry kept him quiet. Eh, just for that night though. Following Memphis's Game 2 victory, Morant approached Curry and responded, we gonna have some fun. Morant had the audacity to repeat that back to Steph? Man, he really got some guts. Check out this clip. Morant even went on to mock Curry's four-point play celebration. This man is wild. Of course, as we all know, Curry got the last laugh, winning the series 4-2, followed by his fourth chip, and served Ja some humble pie. Better luck next time, Ja. Matthew Della Vadova. NBA players trash-talking with Curry or his teammates is nothing new. In fact, I believe it's been going on for a long time. Like in 2015, the Golden State Warriors rallied from a poor start to lead by seven points at the end of the first quarter in Game 4. The Golden State Warriors' small group pushed the tempo, and the Cleveland Cavaliers couldn't keep up. 
Even though he was behind David Lee by seven points, Matthew Della Vadova had some words for him just after the first quarter buzzer sounded. The Warriors forward responded with a few choice words before Stephen Curry shoved Della Vadova away from the Golden State bench. Delhi, what else were you even expecting trying to chirp up Curry and the Warriors? Now, this is totally unrelated, but fast forward a couple years later and watch as Curry drops Delhi on a transition three. <laughs> For your college player, Ed Baylor. Steph, an open three. Two in a row. Here we go. And Unliked by referees as well. It's not only NBA players that attempt to trash talk Curry. Certain officials also use every opportunity to provoke him. The early season MVP frontrunner had his monster effort against the Los Angeles Clippers on a Sunday afternoon in 2021, creating a viral moment in the process. Golden State moved to 18-2 with the 105-90 victory as Curry poured in 33 points, 6 assists, and 6 steals while shooting 7-for-13 from beyond the arc. The night's most viral moment occurred with little over 9 minutes remaining in the game, when Curry seemed to be fouled by Terrence Mann on an attempted layup. With no whistle sounded, an enraged Curry let his feelings be known, prompting the official to call a technical foul for the protest. Playing furious appears to be another way to get Curry rolling, as the legendary guard scored 11 points down the stretch, including three straight triples between 636 and the 521 mark, as the Warriors built a 95-77 lead and iced the game. During one of the season's most amusing moments, Curry sarcastically made the technical foul gesture in the direction of the official after burying a three. Draymond Green revealed after the game that he sensed a Curry outburst was on the way after his passionate response resulted in a technical foul. You saw the flurry coming, Green stated after the game. I was telling Jordan Poole, he about to put this one up. He started putting them up. It's good to watch. Curry's emotional reaction was rare, according to head coach Steve Kerr. That's as upset as I've seen Steph in a long time, Kerr said. It seemed to get him going. Whatever it takes, I guess. He clearly got fouled. Steph is so competitive. When he knows he got fouled, especially on a play like that in transition, where it's out in the open and easy to see, and he doesn't get the call. Every once in a while, he's going to snap. He doesn't do it often, but when he knows he's right, the competitor comes out and he'll lose his mind a little bit. But it often spurs him like it did in this instance. Memphis Grizzlies during the Grizzlies series, being up 3-1, Steph Curry was speaking boldly to reporters before the game when asked how they planned to beat the Grizzlies. Steph's unique and boastful answer was to exclaim, Whoop that trick! Yes, Curry did start the trash talk for this game, but Morant was trash talking this entire series. Anyway, right after that comment from Curry, the Golden State Warriors endured one of the most humiliating defeats when the Memphis Grizzlies thrashed them by 39 points in Game 5 of the second round. At the end of the third quarter, the Warriors trailed by 52 points, and the team appeared to be struggling on both offense and defense. The Grizzly Stadium started to chant, Whoop that trick! And Curry couldn't help but laugh and smile. Heck, even Draymond started to dance to it. <laughs> that was indeed a great night for the Grizzlies and their fans, but what they didn't see coming was Curry erupting for almost 30 points the next game and sent the Grizzlies home early for vacation. Cancun on three. Stephen Curry scored 29 points with six three-pointers as the Golden State Warriors defeated the Memphis Grizzlies 110-96 in game six. And that is why you should think twice before trash-talking Curry. Curry won his fourth chip, and the Grizzlies, well, they got to watch Curry win his fourth chip from home. If you're wondering how Whoop That Trick started, during a playoff series against the Los Angeles Clippers in 2013, the song Whoop That Trick became the Memphis fans' motto. The song played after Blake Griffin and Grizzlies icon Zach Randolph got into a fight, prompting officials to investigate their fight. The Memphis audience erupted, and the song has since become a fan favorite. Hey, if you're still here, check out this video of Kevin Porter Jr. trash-talking Curry. What are you waiting on? Click on it!